know you're thinking this is clickbait because this channel isn't verified. I'm not talking about this channel. I'm talking about this one that has less than 400 subscribers as of this video. So you wanna know how I got YouTube checkmark verified. Stay tuned. JJ Dad, welcome back to my channel. Okay, now that's corny. Let's try some Hey, hey, it's JJ Dad. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I invite you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you like what you see on the channel today. So, for those of you who are new, I am a veteran content creator. I've been in this space for over 10 years, and during the course of that time, I have learned a thing or two about social media and driving traffic. So that's why I focus now on training people, other content creators, whether you are a YouTuber, vlogger, blogger, podcaster, Etsy shop owner, VA work for your clients, or anyone who has a website who's using social media to drive traffic back to your website so you can sell digital or in real life to your audiences. So even though I rebranded this channel recently to focus on Pinterest marketing, because I've been in this space for so long, I do enjoy sharing with my audience tools, tricks of the trade that I've learned over the years. And this is one of them, how I got YouTube checkmark verified on one of my blog properties. Before I get to that, I want to say thank you to those of you who have been following this journey. As you know, if you've been following the channel for a little bit, I have recently rebranded this this website to be about Pinterest marketing. And my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers. Right now, I am at 800. So thank you very much for those of you who out there who subscribe to this channel. I appreciate you. And um, I'm happy to serve. And I'm hoping I get to 1,000 soon. Uh, until then, just stick with me. Hold on. I'm, I'm sharing. We're, we're working. We're going through this together. So thank you very much. And I also shared in my last video that I had gotten 20,000 followers on Pinterest. Since then, it's grown to 25,000. So for you who came here, you visited me from Pinterest, welcome. Thank you for being one of my Pinterest followers. And that's why I focus on Pinterest marketing. Anyway, so back to why you are here, how I got YouTube checkmark verified on a channel that only has less than 400 subscribers. So here's a little bit of background for you. These social media and search channels, because Google, YouTube, and Pinterest are search engines, not necessarily social media platforms, they compete with one another. And how do they compete with one another? They want people to stay on their platform forever. So that's why if you are a YouTuber, you know that you need to upload a, vi a video of 10 minutes minimum because YouTube rewards people who post videos that are less than about 10 minutes because they want you to stay on the channel. That's why also after you finish a video, you get these other little alerts saying, hey, by the way, here's another video this person created. And if you like this, look what's up next, other content that you might like. They want people to stay on their platform. If you are on Instagram, you know, if you're a creator and influencer on Instagram, they give you one link. One link, that's because they don't want you to go anywhere. They don't want people to navigate away from Instagram. And they introduce new tools to force people to stay on Instagram. You got Instagram stories, you got IGTV, and now you got Reels. All of those are ways to get people to stay on Instagram. And what they also do is they steal from the other networks. When they see a social media network that created a tool or some sort of new feature that people are excited about, they just steal it. For example, everyone knows Snapchat came first, then Instagram introduced stories, which is essentially just a rip off of Snapchat. And they stole a lot of people over there, people who like older generation who just didn't get Snapchat, did get Instagram stories, they were already on Instagram. And so for now, for the most part, a lot of people just abandoned Snapchat and they're on Instagram. And I kind of did a video on that. People got mad at me because I said that. I said, Instagram is going to kill Snapchat. People like, no, it wouldn't. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, so they still, for example, let me just give you a little bit about history that I know stuff. There was a there was a streaming website that allowed people to connect with the audience. It's called Meerkat. So what Twitter did, they acquired a company called Periscope to compete. Once they did that, they kicked Meerkat off their API. And so it made it harder for people on Meerkat to get people through Twitter because Twitter had their own platform. It's kind of antitrust if you know things about legal, but the thing about the internet, it's not regulated the way regular businesses. So they were able to do that. And so Periscope kills Meerkat. And what does Facebook do? Facebook looks and says, huh, Twitter, I see you guys are doing a good job on 
this this streaming thing, we're gonna allow our users to stream as well. And they essentially killed Periscope. That's what they do. They create new features to compete with the other channels, and they kill the other 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 channels aspect. So what happened with my case is, so those of you on Facebook, you know that people don't navigate away from Facebook. They're Facebook loyal. However, not long ago, I think maybe about five years ago or so, Google decides it's going to challenge Facebook and it's differentiated was gonna be privacy. You can do it now, but not long ago, you weren't able to separate your drinking buddies from your church friends, from your high friends, from your high school friends, from your college friends, from your work friends, from your family. It was just like all one big friends list. And so Google said, we're going to allow you to put them in different circles. And we're going to create this competitor to Facebook called Google Plus. And the way we're going to get Google Plus to pop off is we're going to get influencers. We're going to get people who already have popping networks or popping channels, popping websites to go over and be our beta testers. Beta testers like people who they give access, early access to or feature to so they can test it out to see so that while they're working out the kinks and then when they're ready to launch publicly, they let everybody else know, hey, this is how it's done. For example, Reels. When Reels unlaunched to the public, people who they've given early access to have already created Reels so they can show you here's how it's done. So that's why you have beta testers. So Google, when they were doing Google Plus, decided we're gonna go see who's already popping. So even though my channel, Belly Itch Blog, which was a blog, I barely had a, a YouTube presence. I might have had like three subscribers. I'm not even quite sure if I had a YouTube channel for that blog at the time. But Belly Itch Blog was getting about a quarter million hits monthly on this platform. So they Google reached out to me and say, hey, we see you got a popping channel. We got this new thing we're trying. We need people with influential following to go ahead and test it out. So they didn't have anything to give me cash <laughs> to get me to go over there. So what they did to entice people like me who had huge following on Google, Google search traffic following, was to give me a verified check mark. So verified check mark. As you know, they only give verified blue check marks to celebrities, people with 100,000 subscribers or more, uh, perhaps journalists, other people who are impersonated. So you have to have, there's a pretty high bar to get a verified blue check mark. But back then, when an associated property, which was Google, they own YouTube, they said, well, we have this YouTube, we can give you a verified check mark. So I'm just like, hey, sure, why not? I'll take your verified check mark, thank you very much. And I got on Google Plus and I loved the platform. It was really just a great place to be at the time and it, it died, unfortunately, it didn't work. Cause again, people are Facebook loyals. People just do not leave Facebook. <laughs> and so much so, just a little quick little sidebar, is that Facebook is coming for YouTube with their Facebook watch. And they're giving people, creators like me, who have Facebook channels, access to, they have this new creator tool. If you look at the creator tool, look at what the back channel for the creator tool looks like. If you're a YouTuber, you know this looks quite familiar, right? So again, just taking whatever works in one social media platform and keeping it on the other one. And that's why you upload a video from your YouTube channel to Facebook, Facebook would ding you. Facebook won't necessarily push it to your followers and push it to your friends. They're not going to let you go because they don't want to promote another. They have their own Facebook watch. Why are they promoting YouTubes? So your best bet is to upload it natively. If you upload your video natively, you'll see you'll get a lot more watch, a lot more reach than even on YouTube. And that's because they're competing with one another. Anyway, back to what we're talking about here. So that's what they did. They decided to, um, you know, give people like me a channel. And that's how I got it. So that's the end of the story. And I also wanted to say that I did also, just because you get a verified check mark doesn't necessarily make it permanent. I'm hoping the Google doesn't take mine away. However, at once upon a time, back in 2000, I think 12 or 2013, I had a verified check mark on Pinterest. But then they switched business market <laughs> models and they took away the verified check mark away. Now I just have the verified page, but not the one that they give to celebrities and people with huge followings any longer. Um, so anyway, just wanted to let you know that. So if you came here to learn how you who have less than 100,000 can get a blue check mark, I wasn't trying to clickbait you. That's not what the point is. I just wanted to let you know how I got that check mark. And so now you know. But since you're here, you might be a content creator. You might be a YouTuber. You might as well stick around. 
subscribe or if not that's fine subscribing is free but if not that's fine just come back here because not only do i share ways for you to grow your traffic your watch time your subscribers list um your reach your engagement i also share how you do it on other social media platforms and just as a digital content creator generally so just come back if you want to all right anyway and actually on my next video i'm going to be talking about five different ways that youtubers can use pinterest to drive traffic back to their youtube channel and increase their watch hours their watch time their engagement their subscribers that's something she shouldn't text you right and also i have a little something for you for sticking through this video to the end if you look to the notes below i have a social media and editorial content calendar that I use for myself to, to keep track of all my content. So I'm giving it to you as a gift for being a watching this video and potentially subscribing. Call it a bribe. Call it a little gimme. Whatever. I don't know. Call it what you want. Anyway, it's for you. Thanks so much for checking me out. Um, it's JJ Gat. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you next time. Cue my music. But um, but um, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom.